unsurprisingly, somebody, hmm, I wonder who, reported my video showing all the screenshots proving that Terry is dating some dude who is a juggalo, wolf otherkin, sanguinarian, and psychic vampire? I'm including a Dropbox link in the description for anybody who wants to look at that video. I've had a few days to think about this, you know, and it's, it's not really just a matter of gossip for the sake of gossip or just to be petty or mean or anything like that. This is a woman who presented herself as like the ultimate lesbian feminist and whose work was incredibly important to a lot of us actual lesbian feminists. I know I got into her videos ooh, about seven and a half years ago or so uh, when I was going through some very major shifts psychologically, spiritually, finally moving out on my own, you know, finding my bearings. And it was very, you know, I, I just spent like about a year kind of reeling from the realization that all of the progressive queer politics that I had been saturated in for several years were nonsense. Listening to her videos was incredibly cathartic. And at the time, there really wasn't nearly as much material available criticizing the trans cult and uh, the more liberal ends of quote-unquote radical feminism. Her content was refreshing, and I really liked where a lot of it went. The critiques of motherhood, the critiques of femininity. How many people before her had the guts to get up on YouTube? And say a lot of this stuff. A lot of people disagree with her analysis of motherhood or, you know, antinatalism in general, whatever. I have yet to find them terribly problematic myself, although I, you know, I noticed a lot of her old videos regarding that have been, have disappeared. The fact of the matter is, whatever her reasons were for getting involved with this guy, uh, I, you know, probably terrible loneliness. I mean, I can't imagine it being anything else. Um, honest to God. I mean, like, I, you know, I don't want to be down on, on somebody who has develop, uh, some, you know, developmental disabilities, which this man clearly does. This is clearly not a person with an average or above average IQ. Clearly being misogynistic and, and gross on his Facebook. There's no way we can actually know how he behaves in person. I've found in my experience with juggalos in the past that a lot of them will share things that are weird and gross and misogynistic and they really just are clueless and they really are of below average intelligence, which is where a lot of it comes from. But, you know, you're, you're, when, 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 you're, when you're not terribly insightful because you're not terribly intelligent and you're saturated in this culture, that's what's going to come out of you. Um, does it necessarily translate into actual literal violence or treating women like shit or anything? No, not necessarily. This guy could be like totally nice and totally sweet in person. None of us have any way of knowing what this man is actually like and what his character is just based solely off of his Facebook. Can you tell a lot about the narratives that somebody has absorbed? Can you tell a lot about what people have not taken the time to think critically about because they've never been prompted to before, you know, by looking at their social media? Uh, yeah, absolutely. The thing that worries me about, you know, what I have seen is he's already been accused of, like, sexual harassment or assault or something. Uh, 
and made himself out to be the victim in that situation. And, you know, there's, there's a, there's screenshots at the end of that video that I put together where somebody confronted Terry on her Twitter about this. And part of her response was that she was working to secure an apology. Like it didn't occur to him to apologize or reflect on anything that he may have done to prompt the woman who was uh, confronting him to feel the way that she did. It seems kind of handmaidenly. It just adds to the evidence that the situation with Terry is definitely a do as I say, not as I do kind of thing. And that her overall perspective on stuff seems to have drastically shifted more recently. And I'd seen Witchy mention, uh, you know, watch out for people with the purity politics. They never actually live up to the things that they say they do or whatever. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. I think more often than not it is, and it, certainly in this case it is. Like, holy shit. I think just a lot of people are reeling and not enough people... I mean, there's so many people speaking about this in private right now. But not very many people seem to be saying anything publicly about it. And I know, like, I'm not, like, this huge internet celebrity with this, like, massive platform. I got, like, 200-some subscribers. I've put, like, zero effort into this channel. It hasn't been enough of a priority for me to really grow it. Part of what I really liked about Terry's uh, progressively more radical material was before she started putting out a lot of the most in your face shit within the last, I don't know, a few years, I had been coming to the, a lot of the same conclusions and exploring a lot of those same ideas. And it was just like, a lot of people complain about, oh, she's, a, she's such a snarky jerk or whatever. I really, I found that refreshing, <laughs> personally. She spent a long time being targeted just purely to humiliate her. Like, I know she mentioned before, uh, years and years ago, whenever she had her Nuclear Night channel and was involved in all of that, which, I mean, you can search that up on your own. You want to get a little insight into, like, how many, like, weird loser atheist men, like, tried to fuck with her and threaten her and shit. I mean, you would probably develop a lot more defensive personality, too, so, you know. But that, I mean, of course, that's not an excuse for the way that, you know, a lot of us have seen her treat other women. Um, I actually unsubscribed from her uh, whenever she put out her, what, what was it called, the perspective, that video, the live stream. She totally, like, just does not take any accountability for how she rudely and viciously ripped into this woman who paid her a compliment. Now, was there something, you know, there was definitely something problematic about what the, what this woman said as far as a woman commented on one of her videos saying something along the lines of like, basically like it's, it's, she basically Terry is so articulate and intelligent and knowledgeable that it astound, it's, that it's astounding that she doesn't have at least a master's degree. Now, that is problematic because access to higher education is... There are more obstacles to accessing higher education for people in poverty. And the idea that having a degree or having gone to college is like the ultimate metric for determining whether or not somebody's smart or educated. But yeah, there are clearly major issues with that, and that was her complaint, but like her automatic just like oh, lashing out and being super fucking mean to this person and several other women saw it and called her out on it and she didn't like that and then she put out this follow-up video to that video where these comments had occurred and basically was like oh everybody who's a different point of view or whatever and oh i'm, th oh, I'm thinking about t turning off comments on all my videos because there's no point to having them, and there's never any good discussion, and blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, no, you just don't want to take accountability for the fact that you treat, a pe that you treat people abusively. Like, you, c you can't 
understand that not everybody not everybody is in the same place as you. Not everybody has done the reading. Not everybody's the same as far as age and experience and you know, in general and in the movement. So if somebody says something that reveals that maybe they haven't considered a certain issue very deeply, the correct response is not to be vicious and, and condescending, to misdirect snark towards other women who are on your side. You know, like, isn't this supposed to be a politics of, like, compassion for ourselves and other women? Like, I, I feel like that was very lacking. Both in that example, you know, that's just one example. I, I've seen it again and again. And I mean, you do see it. You see it happen more and more in a lot of her later feminist videos. And it's kind of disturbing. It's, I don't know. So anyway, whenever she refused to take accountability for that, and her response was basically like a bunch of, a bunch of like self, self justification and gaslighting. That was like whoa, red flag. And I unsubscribed, and I could not fucking believe that I would ever do that. Like she was like absolutely like I watched every fucking video that she ever put out. It was like hundreds of videos or some shit. It was cr crazy. Like I always thought, man, if I lived on that side of the country, like, we totally would, like, chill. Like, for real. I feel like there are life circumstances that are influencing what's going on with her right now, and I don't know what her mental health is like right now. I know the pandemic is, you know, the, the amount of isolation that we've all been dealing with, and I'm sure living in Portland, that's like the... I mean, isn't that pretty much like the radiqueer capital of the world? And then she's she's got rheumatoid arthritis. I'm sure she's in like tons of pain all the time. So getting out and around and meeting people. Finding better candidates for a romantic partnership is probably quite difficult. I mean, I think it's difficult for any woman who is more interested in being with women. How much of her defensiveness and anger, how much of her frustration came from that? I mean, you know, isolation causes aggression. Let me repeat that. Isolation causes aggression. That's something you can look into on your own if you're interested in the psychology of it, the neuroscience of it, etc. We've known this for decades. It also can cause psychosis, personality changes, depression. If somebody came along and, and, you know, was nice to her, in the middle of a pandemic, with extra isolation. Whatever Terry may have believed about herself being a lesbian, I don't believe she was purposely lying. I've, I've, seen, I've seen women say this already in a lot of different places. I don't think that she was lying. I think she really believed that she had converted herself to full lesbianism via feminism. But I just... I've been a lesbian my entire life. I mean, I knew back to some of my earliest memories and this idea that every woman can choose and that it's always a choice. I do think most, I, I do think that there's a possibility that most women are bisexual and that they do choose men because of socialization and the socioeconomic benefits that come with that. I love Sekhmet Shiao's videos where she tears, she tears into the bi hats and stuff, and I totally am on board with that. <laughs> like, like, I don't care. But, um, <laughs> like, come at me. But there are biological components to this. I think Terry was always bisexual. Whether she identified that way or not, there, you know, there is a physiological dimension to sexual orientation. And that's part of the problem with the trans cult insisting that everybody can convert to bisexuality in order to be politically correct in their eyes. Like, we can't. Actual homosexual people cannot convert. And this idea that, well, if you say that some people are born gay and some people are born straight, well then, that means that women are born to be fucked. No. Women can choose celibacy. And bisexuals can choose to be female exclusive. That doesn't make them lesbians. I fucking hate that. I hate that political lesbian crap. 
It's a crock of shit. And we've seen for decades what happens when bisexuals claim to be political lesbians or claim to be lesbians based on being converted by politics. I really don't think that there are very many lesbians that have realized that really been lesbians the whole time or have converted via radical feminism. I think there's a whole lot of people who have done a whole lot of posturing and a whole lot of convincing themselves of things that just aren't true. I mean, if, if, if you are able to be attracted to men, you are not a lesbian. And what are you going to do? Clockwork orange yourself into not being into men? How, and how effective is that? Does that make you not bisexual? To condition yourself away from something that is like an innate part of who you are. I think when people get lonely and maybe a man comes along and shows kindness and that woman is already bi or straight, even if they have a political commitment, you know, if they are extremely deprived of affection, it makes them vulnerable to going back to men. And maybe it isn't appropriate to to sneer at that because we are human and we do have needs. Now, is it a betrayal of women to go back to men and then act like radical feminists who have a issue with it are just, oh, you just don't have anything better to talk about and me, 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 me. Just a bunch of haters, haters, <laughs> haters. It feels like a massive betrayal. It feels like this is a person who was never truly committed to what they claimed to be and that they were pretending. But reality is more often more complicated than that. And I'm trying to keep that in mind now, now that I've had a few days to process this a little bit. I think there are two possibilities here. One, everything that we've seen of this individual has been an illusion cast for attention, for profit, potentially just to get off on duping people. And the other possibility, the one that I think is more likely, is that she really did buy into the vast majority of the things that she espoused. But people have needs and she's really always been by. It disappoints me that even though this, this has been out for a few days now, she has yet to make any kind of public statements about it. Other than she deactivated her Facebook, <laughs> so she's running, and then what witchy somebody somebody mentioned on witchy's video that she made private today that she <laughs> posted gangster memes on her instagram or whatever about like haters <laughs> and blah 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 it seems very that does seem like narcissistic personality spectrum behavior so maybe the whole radical feminist thing was at least partially shtick i don't know I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, especially whenever I did, uh, I spent a few years looking up to her and then, uh, just feeling very vindicated by a lot of the opinions that I already had or things that were bubbling below the surface of my consciousness. Hearing them articulated, like, she did that a lot, and that's part of why I really gravitated towards her material. What remains to be seen is if she's gonna go, like, full 180 and not be a feminist anymore. Good God, that really would be tragic. I do feel like all of this is tragic. I think Terry really could have had her pick of single radical feminist, but she would have had to have been less arrogant and standoffish. It's complicated. It's tragic. But it's also angering. I think a lot of us are having a lot of feelings about this right now. Because she was a figurehead in the community. And there are certain responsibilities that come with that. Now if she wants to retreat into complete individualism and <sighs> astounding. Like if the inability to face herself and her own contradictions, which I, I've, yeah, which I mean, there's, there's literally video evidence of that. 
is that strong. It's, you know, what about, you know, we're, let's just, let's go beyond her radical feminist content, her lesbian feminist content for a second and look at her new agey content. How can you teach people about shadow work when clearly there are major blind spots here that you're not willing to face or deal with? And absolutely the unnecessary aggression shown towards other women. People who are trying to do right by other women. People who are just finding their way. It's gross. It's uncalled for. It's immature. And it does nothing but push people away and further isolate her.